What's up, y'all? It's Fofo back with another review. Let's get into this superstar. Before y'all get into the video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Help grow the channel. So we got the technology group, drivers, convenience, Harman Kardon, power sunroof, satin black spoiler, 8.4 inch touchscreen, black black bait calibers, got that gas guzzler text as usual, destination charge 1500 so on this one is going for 99000 but with markup, 199000 that's ridiculous, that's ridiculous, 200000 for a super stock, so this is basically a Dodge Demon with street legal tires, it has 807 horsepower, <clears throat> and as you can see, these are my favorite rims. Check them out. Now we got some radios on there. You feel me? So on this one we got 315s in the front. A little bit bigger than the normal 305s y'all get. And let's see. 315s in the back. So all around, it's the same. Same dealio. Now on this one, we got that matte black race spoiler that everybody seems to like. It just tays me. We got the matte black fuel cap. Oh, let's hop in. Oh, this one locked, so we got to get it unlocked. We got the sunroof up here with it. Hold on. Let me get it unlocked for you. Check up, and we finna take the chunk space right here. As you can see, the 807 horsepower super stock still got the beautiful trunk space with the Mac Black spoiler. So you can daily drive this if you're crazy enough. But as you know, challenges are made to go straight, and that's what this car excels in. So on this one, we got black and out interior. Let's get in. So getting in on the super stock, we got 220 on the dash, and this one only has 14 miles. We got the sunroof right here. Now we got all the features for the sunroof right here. We also got your sunglasses compartment. Now, something I will tell y'all, y'all might want to look into, is when y'all, I don't know if the Superstock has it yet, because I haven't done any builds on this one yet, but the carbon fiber makes the headliner sway. So keep that in mind when y'all making that order. Now, in every car we got, this one comes with a radio manual manual we got locks on the wheels for you guys the lock and lugs and then we got all of the controls down here we got the srt we got the launch we got the parking sensors off we got the ac all of that on this one we got paddle shifters now let me zoom out for you guys now we got that leather wrap steering wheel with the white stitching now i like it we got white stitching throughout the whole car in here and right here, there you go. Let me make sure the camera's clean for you guys. And we got your key compartment right here. And as challengers, you know, you got the two USB ports inside of here with the aux cable and the 12 volt. And it's the same behind behind the center console. Now, the challenger back seats are spaces, and this one is equipped it with Harman Kardon. Now, closing the sunroof and opening the sunroof. That's how you that's how you remove the lid. You feel me? It don't do it automatically. I feel like it should, being that you spending two hundred thousand with this markup. Oh, we got the army carton right there. And we got that black chrome. Now something I like when you order the Alcatara, you get that Alcatara on the door panel. You got your select seating and all of these look different when you get in the scat pack, they're like circular. You know, we got the answer and in call and this one doesn't have the adaptive cruise control but when you got a car that goes this fast you don't want it so you guys let me know is this car worth it because for two hundred thousand it's not but with stock price would y'all buy it so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'm noticing this one got a red gem too we got the red eye, the red eye on here. So, Superstock, would y'all come and buy a Superstock?